to work. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Open to the armed forces, the DOD veterans, and their families. Insured by NCUA and Equal Housing Lender. We're keeping you up to date with a Debbie D. Morning Show traffic report on Gospel 1590, 106.1 FM. Traffic sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance, where you only pay for what you need. Good-looking wrap-up out there. Don't have any big problems, big delays around town. A reminder, though, about the midday uh, road work, the pothole patching. It's been very, very active uh, with the nice weather. So going to have that again today, and that's been creating some pretty big delays. Nobody chef pay for one-size-fits-all insurance. Liberty Mutual customizes your insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Customize and save with Liberty Mutual Insurance. And remember, road praise instead of road rage. I'm Scott Walgis, Gospel 1590 and one. 6.1 FM. Back to your favorite gospel music. It's the Debbie D. Morning Show on Gospel 1590 and 106.1 FM. He'll make it all right.
and uh, and using uh, their skills effectively. They won't go. They won't immediately go to guns and and and, and killing our young people if uh, uh, social workers and stuff have been in the community uh, educating us about those type of experiences. And, and prophetess, this is uh, I, I loved what Bishop Morrison said. And, and I, I'm just going to paraphrase it. He said, uh, if he's going through a rough patch with his wife, he's not, but if he did, right, you can't throw more money at that. Mm -hmm. Money does, isn't going to solve the issue. He, then he said, same thing with his children. You can't throw money at them. We tend to uh, believe that if you continue to increase the financial budget of the police department, all the crime will be solved. No, what we have to do is you effectively use the resources that we have to uh, uh, in the community and to develop a community policing plan that uh, will stop the violence. For instance, let me just say this, right? The state level opened up the right for pretty much anybody 16 and older to get a gun or 18. Which is crazy. I don't know. Uh, so if you go get a, if you want to hunt and you want to get a hunting license in, 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 in the state of Missouri, right? You have to actually take a course, get an eight hour certification or whatever to, uh, to go and uh, you got to wait an eight hour period or whatever, some type of training to go hunt a deer. But if mm -hmm. you want to purchase a handgun, uh, AR-15, a Tech-9, you could just walk in a store, 18 and older, and go buy one no matter where you at. And Bishop, that is a community. I hope we understand and, and, and see the bigger picture. That is absurd. But it's so, and which knowing that a um, lot of the handguns and a lot of the shooting and things that take place, these are, you know, they're also like, uh, I don't, I guess you can tell, like, can I share the story? Like, I um, guess I'm not telling where, where over 700 guns were stolen. Yeah. You, that, that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Over, so for instance, over 700 in the greater Kansas City area, over 700 was stolen from, and they were stolen. And so they're on the street. So, those are in the hands of individuals, but we have individuals who can go in. How many of these cases where they done went to a school and shot it up, went to a workplace and shot it up, and especially the, in the Caucasian pop, and they went in and to Walmart and purchased the gun and got all their ammunition and all of that to do body harm to their community because of these laws that are so loose because people want to say, oh, you can't, you know, mess with my rights and me, you know, carrying, carrying arms. But then on the other hand, we expect that balance to not be, to, not be to where it's at. And so do we have the answers? No, but we do need to, you know, be wise and look at the bigger picture and do our part I, I only I, I can pray and now I have a better understanding from you know what that you know what that looks like and then Bishop I mean 50 just think about this we know that most of the crime is in those zip codes that you know are poverty stricken and all of that but that's where most of the 911 calls are coming from so even in that with the the budget being cut even more and they already saying that um there were some shootings and things that took place that because of the short staff already they didn't even have no police officers sitting on some of the scenes but this is our urban core that is being being effect is, is being affected by what's going to take place even more so you know i don't have the answer to that but it's it's it's, 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 it puts a burden upon you as for me to be able to cry out to God um, for some change and some things to take place. Yeah, and, and, here, and here's the deal, Prophetess, and, and you know, praise the Lord that we have these forums, right? There has to be an open dialogue 
in not out of fear, but out of love, right? So that uh, the open dialogue but believe, but between the police department and the people that they serve, right? It won't be questionable what's going on if that dialogue is, is bilateral. It's going both directions, right? Uh, uh, the police department are, are, is, and it's the nature of police departments, right? To be uh, kind of private or not as communicative as they can because of, of the things that uh, goes on in a police department. But that's why it was so important last year for them to get the body cams, right? So they can, so people can see what's going on. But uh, we, as uh, the body of Christ, we also have to be uh, more uh, supportive of uh, the uh, informing our community of the struggles that we have. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, are, are we uh, this? Uh, you know, I'm not going to pick on anybody, but everywhere there's crime, there's also most likely a church. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and the churches uh, are doing that. I know they're doing their job of praying, but uh, I, I think they also need to be lighthouses of information to be able to minister to the community of what's going on uh, from the police department, what's going on from the uh, the fire department, what's going on at City Hall, right? So that our 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 members are informed of what's going on. I, we we our church is in Lee Summit, but we have members that live in the city. It, we do uh, we have to continue to uh, minister that information to the people that we serve, right? Uh, because, uh, for instance, if the police officers aren't having what they they're having recurrent training. But if they're not having new classes come in, what happens? The people that are there, are even though they're getting recurrent training, are still stuck in their old ways. Mm -hmm. So they don't have a new breed. Of, and, right, predominantly, uh, uh, the, let's use the percentage of makeup. The urban core of Kansas City is uh, 44 to 50% African-American and, and Hispanic. Right, the police department is probably at most 12, 13 percent. Right, wow. and you're not and you're not getting new ones in. So uh, the the numbers continue to reflect negatively as far as what the community they don't, it doesn't match the community. Uh, we uh, we live in Grandview. Grandview's got seventy five police officers for their entire department. One to three of them is African American, but yet uh, Grandview is forty four percent black and twenty percent uh, Hispanic. It, right there, it's got to be a, a leveling leveling out of uh, the people that we serve. The, the reason why a lot of there's a, a trust factor is the people that are serving the community don't look like the community. Amen. Right. Uh, I. I it's easy for me to understand what you're saying if you talk like me, look like me, speak like me, and, and uh, minister to my needs because you you know my needs. All right? If you don't look like me and you don't live in the community a lot, remember, they still don't have... Uh, if, if you don't... Uh, most of them live in Shoal Creek and other uh, northern communities. If they, if they live outside the community, then they really don't look like them. Amen. Yeah. So we have to, we do have some things that need to get done. And we, as, as a, we have a, 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 a perception problem. This is one thing that, that does come up. We right now, are like the number four or five of uh, murders per capita in the, in the country. That, right? that is, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, you come from New York. I come from Miami. And, and, and Bishop, there was a good point that the chief brought out is that, you know, we want, if people, if we want our city to transform, thank God we got some good light because of the Super Bowl last year and them going to the Super Bowl this year. But we want people to be able to come. When they come to a city, they want to be able to feel safe. And that is the reason why it's all of our jobs as the people to pray. 
as the priest to put pressure because the, the word of God says, Bishop, that the gates of hell should not prevail against the church. Right. And we have to get the church to rise into the power and authority that it is to walk in. And, you know, if you were to take a walk through the inner city, there's about three, you, you're probably here in the two blocks, there's like three churches. Okay. But where's the power? And, and, and I'm going to say this, and I'm just, I cannot tell you how many times I have tried to get leaders that will come up higher in doing the spiritual warfare that is needed to bring down the territorial spirit over the grand, over the greater Kansas City area. We, we want to talk about church, but we don't understand that this is a spiritual thing. And that's the reason why when I opened up in that meeting and I said, I don't put, um, like you said, one of the incidents that took place, that it was a, a shooting over a par over a parking spot that belonged to nobody. We yeah. can't blame the police for that stupidity. You no. know, when I came up, they was killing people for their tennis shoes. That is sin. We yeah. have to take ownership for that stupidity that is taking place. And then, you know, expect when the, the police show up, you know, that they're supposed to act a certain type of way. I'm not getting them off the hook, but I'm talking to the church that we got to call sin, sin, and we got to deal with the aspect of prayer to, to stop these, this loose spirit of anger, the loose spirit of hatred, and the self-hatred that the African-American has for themselves. We have to take ownership for that. Yeah, we we have to stop patty caking with the devil, right? Uh, when G, when Jesus Jesus dealt with the demonic spirit in somebody, he cast it out. Right? He didn't he didn't reason with the devil. He didn't uh talk to the devil one on one and sit down and let hey, let's have coffee. Let let's talk about this. No, he he dealt specifically with the spirit, cast that spirit out of the, out of somebody. And, and moved on to the next victory. We we as the body of Christ, right? We have to. It, there's there's some of our family members, some of our people, and that we deal with that are um, uh, that uh, we need to minister to and 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 cast out and just literally cast out the devils that are that are in our community. They're there, right? The Bible said uh, when. Uh, if they're in your community, you, you know what you have the right to uh, cast them out because that little that little that little uh, lump is gonna mess up the whole. That little sin is gonna L mess up leaven, the whole. Lump. That little bit of leaven. Yeah. All right. We 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 want everybody to know that God is doing something. We have two minutes left, but God is doing something supernatural in our community, right? We. I'm praying that the numbers go down uh, for uh, murders in Kansas City. No reason why we should be close to breaking two, 200 murders a year in Kansas City. Amen. Amen. And so we don't have all the answers, but we just want to make those of you to be informed so then you can take it and you go to the Father with what what's needed, especially for those of you that's in the, in, that lives in the inner city. And, you know, you, and you can't just flee from the inner city and that's supposed to make it happen. But the father says, every place the soul of our feet should tread upon, the land should be ours. And we need to continue to plead the blood of Jesus and run that spirit of anger and hatred and violence and death out of our communities. Amen. Amen. So we got about a, a, a 40 seconds. And prophetess, we have to continue to... to to pray as a body of Christ. We have to continue to pray as uh, people of God to, to stop the violence in our community. Uh, we may not have all the answers, but we're one of the answers. Prayer. We're one of the answers, uh, the Holy Ghost. We're one of the answers that can stop. You, you know, we're supposed to be uh, the lighthouses in our community. Let's at least turn our lights on. Glory. So that uh, people can see. Any any closing remarks, baby, before we close? Oh, I do have one closing remark. Uh, since uh, we won't be on the radio again until your birthday passed, happy birthday to my lovely, lovely, lovely wife, 
of many, 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 many years. Uh, you still uh, making me smile and still uh, turn me on. You're you're my light. <laughs> Amen. Thanks. Thank, thank you. Uh, you know I celebrate all month, so thank you. Amen. Oh, okay. yeah. For giving me a shout out. Well, well, gifts can be done to uh, Cash App, Dollar Sign, uh, 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 Boss Lady Doctor A. Boss Lady Doctor A. Uh, praise Lord, and and we thank you. We we bless you. And we want you to know that Jesus is, is the Lord. Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in 